everyone welcome back to the channel Jones clan back in the caravan um, at the moment it is the 22nd of September 2021 and we're at Grafham Water Caravan and Motor Home Club site we've been here this is our fourth day and we're going home tomorrow so we're just going to do a quick little tour of the site it's not really a site review as such um, Posh Cats Camping and Bob Earnshaw have done some uh, good caravan good detailed caravan um, rev reviews of um, the site so uh, just thought we'd have a quick look around. So we're on pitch 12 which is a fully serviced hard standing pitch very nice. So this is the dog walk just going to make a deposit <laughs> It's quite small, however, if you just veer to the right here, there is a footpath. this area lovely view and if you turn right you can walk your dog right up there and cross the road and into some fields on a public footpath that's a dead end down that way that's very nice yeah there's a gate down there you can't get through there so that's some private woods down there but yeah, wind farm, <laughs> surrounded by fields, considering we're only how far from the A1, Not f about a mile, a couple of miles from the A1, it's lovely and quiet. So there's a mixture of pitches. Um, there's hard standing um, service pitches and then there's some grass pitches as you can see. It's a, it's a mixture. The service pitches are all hard standing there. Um, and then if we go over this little bridge, there's a pond with some ducks in. Well there was last night, some ducks, I don't know. Very nice, isn't it? Ooh. Children's got a children's play area and the usual amenities block. <laughs> we'll not go inside, but the showers are very clean. And um, they still want me to wear a mask in the toilet and the shower. And they've got the dishwashing area and the called toilet area. Yeah, it's all very nice. And then behind the amenities block is all the um, waste for recycling and um, your general waste. I need to go to the loo now. Can you stop? While we're here, I'll take the opportunity to go in. See you in a minute. 
There are also uh, disabled facilities and disabled ramps for the amenities block. Here I am. <laughs> right. Go around that way. This is the uh, chemical disposal point, or as some people call it, the ALSA. Nice flush and a good hose pipe for cleaning out your uh, toilet cassette. One, you can't arrive till one o'clock. There's a reception there, but it's that, that's, that's closed at the moment. And, uh, little information centre. Got some books and uh, got some info. There's some maps for walking that you can take. They've um, laminated, but they ask you to bring them back and some leaflets etc and obviously we're not far from Graffham Water which we're going to later on this afternoon but there's some maps and everything there so yeah it's good good little information hut and your AED in case you peg out dear I know where to come Yeah, defibrillator for mm -hmm. those that <laughs> don't know what AED is. I'm oh, sorry, I'm medical. <laughs> and the obligatory uh, flowers, aren't they? hand sanitizers. phone box that Trev went in. It's uh, growing um, peppers at the moment. Or large chilies, I don't know. I don't like peppers. is the uh, right, so this is the entrance to the caravan and motorhome club site at Graffham Water just down this long road down there and you approach it you approach it from this road leading from the village of Grafham. It is actually a dead end further down the road but uh, you come across here and next door if you follow me Dave the turn in before the Caravan and Motorhome Club site is a certified site with the Camping and Caravanning Club and it is called Lakeview Paddock and it looks to be a very, very large field. And if you just look over there, through that field, you can just see Grafham Water. And that's how near we are. There are some footpaths on the other side of the road here. And I think you can actually walk there if you want to.
So just before you get to the main um, barrier into the um, caravan park by the reception, there is this barrier here. Um, we've noticed that it's been open all the time, so whether it closes at 8 o'clock because there's no arrivals after 8 p.m., um, we're not sure. We haven't been out that late, have we? Um, and also you can see behind the barrier to the right, there are, what's it called? Um, Old Manor Park. Um, I think they might be holiday cottages. Or oh, perhaps people live in there all the time, I don't know. I think there's about eight of them. So the road goes to the left, it goes into the main reception and the main entrance to the caravan site and then this road on the right is where you come out of the caravan site. As Dave's pointed out as well, there is another exit um, over here. Um, if you're on these grass pitches, it's quite handy for that. If you're on that side of the of the uh, of the campground. All right, you come down this road from the reception, and you come to a fork in the road here, and you can go left or right. Um, whichever way you go, either goes to the exit. So uh, one will go to the top exit and one will go to the bottom exit. But there's pitches all around from both sides. As you can see, we're on the short electric cable, our 10 metre, which is just about the right size. And we're on the seven and a half metre uh, service pitch hose, which again is just about the right size. Uh, the one thing about these pitches are that they like you to stay within the bounds of the pitch so you can't have your awning extended over onto the grass. Yeah, they're quite cosy as the lady told us so we wouldn't want an eight foot caravan would we because I don't I think we'd have trouble getting on it because we're just on this pitch. As you can see there, um, yeah, we've got one little peg, but we tried to keep within the boundary. Um, two centre um, support straps we had to leave out. I suppose we could have gone left and right, but to be honest, it's windy. not windy or anything, and this awning stays up pretty much. It's pegged out in front, so. So that was a quick walk round of the site. What do we think of it? Well, it's very peaceful. Um, there's not that many pitches, to be honest. Oh, the site map says there's about 48. So, um, yeah, it's nice and they're quite spaced out. Um, pitches are level, Dave says. <laughs> well, ours is, isn't it? didn't have to uh, too much trouble levelling it out. Um, it's nice for walking your dog. Um, there's plenty of places to go on foot from the site um, if, you've, if you've got dogs. 
Um, there's a lot of people here with um, bikes. Um, we've seen a lot of uh, people going biking. Um, obviously at the gravel water there's <coughs> you can cycle around around there. So um, yeah, there's plenty of plenty of things to do. Um, so yeah, we like it, don't we, dear? Yep. <laughs> Would we come again? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and there's an added bonus. We found out that we was only three miles, three and a half miles away from uh, where Dave's brother lives. <laughs> we didn't realise that until we were here. So uh, we've been able to visit family as well since we've been here. So uh, so that was an added bonus. We normally only get to see them at uh, funerals, <laughs> weddings, and yeah, knees the odd shindig. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so that was uh, that was a nice surprise. So um, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd thoroughly recommend it. There's Toby on his little lead, <laughs> sat near Dewley, which is his normal position. He's not far away from her. So, we've got the big awning set up. Show me towel hanging there. Yeah. <laughs> it's that warm, you can hang a towel outside and it's dry in about an hour. Because mm. we've got them microfiber towels. One thing that you might be interested in on these don't know if you can see there in the corner these microfiber towels have a little zip and you can place keys and such like that in them we don't need them for these showers though do we? no but i'll take one to the gym put my locker key in there it's quite good so you needed something the, to get in the toilet you know if, if you're like going swimming you can zip it up and roll your towel up and the keys are there so yeah so I'm a fan of them yeah Heidi's she's a she's a fan of anything like that and we bought this <laughs> side skirt ages ago uh, it is a real really nice it's a camper skirt which you can cut to size and it's got two of these pockets where you can put shoes and such and then there is fit a naughty dog in there, a naughty dog in there. <laughs> but yeah no, we wouldn't. Uh, only, we wouldn't. only jesting. <laughs> but there, there is one under the step as well, and some nice pockets and such mm. uh, to. It's like a double pocket. You could put shoes in the front, and paper, and such at the back. Yeah. And there is a second deep pocket. Just shoes. down there, by the step, so you, you could put other things in. Um, our big um, soft carpet, camper carpet, and underneath that we've got a uh, ground sheet. So yeah, we're all set up. I can't believe how warm it is. Um, warmer than when we went away in July. Yeah, warmer than we went away in July. It was absolutely not horrendous, but it wasn't. Not as warm as this. This, so. Yep, yeah, so. See what how this goes. Out, but she didn't seem to want to. And behind the door is little Heidi. Hello Heidi. Hello Heidi. 
Is it too hot for you, Woo? Hey? Oh, she stirred. She's showing an interest in the camera. <laughs> she would uh, be too hot in this awning for her. Yeah. We'll open it up in a second and get a breeze through, Heidi. Yeah. All right. We've got to go down to Graff and Water to the cafe and get a little treat for you. So that just leaves me to say if you like the video give us a thumbs up, um, please subscribe to the channel it uh, helps us and it's free. Um, if you want more notifications just ring that bell, ding dong. So all remains for me to say is TTFN, see you soon.